Right. Okay, so, um, you know, to go out on your own, we require one year of experience. If you have less than a year, then we would do some training. Mm-hmm. Okay? All right. That so, was your first question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, can, can you tell me uh can you tell me a little bit more uh about Van Wick? Like what area like where's the main terminal and all that good stuff? Yeah. Well, we're headquartered in a small town in northwest Iowa. Okay. We have additional additional terminals in central Kansas mm-hmm. and western western central Virginia. So we um we mainly operate east of Colorado. Mm-hmm. And we don't do much to the south. We go about as far south as Oklahoma. And if you draw a line over to, you know, North Carolina, up oh. to Massachusetts, and oh. back over to, like, Iowa. So it's it's upper Midwest and east for the most part. All right. Do you guys do, do you guys do uh, north, uh, northeast? We do, yes. Okay. Uh, not a fan of the northeast, but got to ask. <laughs> Um, and I got and I gotta give you honest answers. I and I appreciate the honest answers. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so again, you said the uh, experience you you require uh, one year of experience. But what about for drivers that's like coming out of school? Do you do you guys uh, bring them that's more? Right, to- that's right. Yeah, that's what I said. One mm-hmm. year of experience to go on your own. Anything mm-hmm. less than that, they'll have to ride with a trainer. So we do take drivers out of school Mm -hmm. uh we do take drivers who have less than a year of experience and just maybe thought they made the wrong choice in the carrier they first chose okay uh but if they but if they have less than a year of experience we're going to have to do some training a little bit anyway all right copy copy on that um what about do you guys offer do you guys offer how, how can i say this for drivers that don't have their cdls do you guys offer a way for them to get their CDLs by way of a sponsorship of a school? We're not set up for that. Um, we're not. No. Okay. All right. What type of benefits do you guys have or offer? There's um, there's a week's paid vacation after a year. Mm-hmm. There's two weeks paid after three years. Mm-hmm. There's a 401k after a year. We do have a Blue Cross Blue Shield health insurance. We do have optional dental and vision if the driver wants that too. All right. Is the uh, health benefits uh, company paid or half paid? Well, it's partially paid. I mean, for single, you're, you, it's $41 a week. For a family, it's 100, 137 a week. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, what type of – now – what type of home time do you guys offer? And is that like, is that like, uh, if you guys offer like, um, how can I say, like regional routes or stuff like that, or y'all just concentrated with the all forty eight? How would that work on? No, home time? we 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 concentrate mainly east of Colorado. So anyone in our hiring lanes has the opportunity. To, to be home every week. Okay. Uh, there are there are certain areas where it, it could be more predictable on the weekends. Uh, there, uh, it just really depends upon where the driver lives. We we never guarantee weekends here because it, we're in this industry and there's really no guarantees. But depending upon where a driver is, it might be easier to get the weekends off, or it might be hit or miss during the week or on the weekend all right now if they get the weekends off would that be coming home friday leaving out back monday or is it just a 34 reset you know we're not we're not limiting drivers to a 34 hour reset if they want more than that they can Mm -hmm. um you know my my most productive and drivers who make the most do 34 and get out um but no, I can't. And like I say, for drivers getting home weekends, I can't say you're going to get home Friday and leave Monday. You might get home Saturday and leave Monday. You might get home Friday and leave Sunday late afternoon, evening. Um, it, it really just depends upon the freight we got going on at that time. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, now I know my next question would have been trust me, but my I'm I'm gonna augment that. I mean, augment that. What's the uh, what's the uh, pay per mile? Our drivers aren't paid by the mile here. Um, Oh. They've been in business going on 60 years, and the drivers here have been paid percentage since they started this business. What? Wait a minute. Hold up. We we talking. We talk. We with the river, and y'all paying percentage. What's the percentage? Depending upon uh, you know the experience when coming in, it ranges anywhere from 22 to 23 and a half percent to start. Okay, so somebody with my experience with six years, where where would I be at? Yeah, if you have three years of of uh, experience or more, you start at the top, which is twenty three and a half percent. Okay, and that and and that's for and that's for all loads. I mean, I, I can just do yeah. I, I can do maybe three loads a <laughs> week, right? And and average about. A little bit over a grand, right? I would say someone you know starts at the top. You're probably gonna, uh, and, and you know some drivers come in and some you know you get some that work harder than others. But mm -hmm. I would say, you know, your first year grossing out about fourteen fifty a week. Now, you know, you get raises with longevity here. Mm -hmm. you, you stair step over a period of five years, and our top pay. After someone's been here five years, is twenty six percent. Now, we 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 always try to be competitive and pay. So every now and then, we kind of self check ourselves and see what what our drivers are averaging. Mm -hmm. And in, in the past, when we have given raises to our drivers, we would just bump up. And I got here twenty years ago. The top percentage rate was twenty one percent, and now it's twenty six. But in, anyway, in in twenty eighteen. We gave our drivers a raise, and instead of bumping up their percentage pay, we started paying empty miles. So a driver, when he's going empty in between loads, is getting paid 30 cents a mile. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so what about now I can ask about trust B. So what what uh what kind of equipment you guys have, and what's the what's the uh, what's the govern speed on it okay so the the equipment is three year old or newer kenworth volvo mm -hmm. uh we're set at set at 65 on the cruise and 68 on the pedal okay okay and other than uh other than you say east of colorado right then am i mainly mainly I, I mean we pull about five six loads a week to the northwest mm -hmm. but for the most part we're Colorado and East. All right. Is any of is any of the dispatch forced? No, we've kind of found out you can't force someone to do what they don't want to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> but but you know, if 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 a guy limits himself to too many areas that he won't go, well mm -hmm. then you can limit your earning potential here. But yeah, I, we get it. There's guys who don't want to go to New England or New York state. And that's fine. You don't have to. But if you say, I won't go to Massachusetts, I won't go to New York, I won't go to Baltimore, I won't go anywhere on the East Coast, I won't go to, you know, um, North Virginia, I won't go to Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, you really limit us, right? Mm. Mm. Yes, yes, very much so. Is there any is there any additional pay for the drivers to go up in the Northeast, like the areas you just mentioned? Yeah, yeah. We charge the customer more going to areas that are not ones that people like. I mean, New York, there's a New York City surcharge. We go to the New England states, there's more per mile we charge. So, yeah, there's benefits. You earn more going there. Okay. That's and you should. should. Very much so because it's I different. Mean, I, got, I got a Northeast <laughs> regional division. We got guys who pull out of Northern Virginia going to to Jersey City, to uh, to Long Island, New York. They go to Albany, Syracuse, Massachusetts, Connecticut. They're, they're fighting traffic all day long, but those guys are earning a lot of money per mile. They're not necessarily getting as many miles right. 
you know, they might, they might, they might run about 2,300 miles a week, but they earn as much as someone else that's running 3,000. I mean, that's kind of the beauty of percentage. We can get drivers to do things because it pays them well. So here it's not necessarily about how many miles that you get with us. It's how much revenue the truck makes. Uh, the more revenue the truck makes, the more you and we make. All right. Is there any uh, lease options that you guys have there, or is this is all uh, company based? There's no lease options. We do have owner operators. They were they were once company drivers that bought their own truck and leased on to us. Oh, okay, okay. So we're so uh, so Van. How, how do you pronounce the company? Van Wyke. Van Wick. Right. Van Wyke. It's a. Uh, Family owned has been for sixty years. Uh, we run about two hundred trucks. All right, Van Reich. Uh Wyke. Thank you very much, sir. Is there a sign-on bonus? There's not, but we've recently uh, approved a transition bonus. Uh, we we do realize that drivers switching jobs in the industry. Well, there's some downtime mm -hmm. during that, and then. Then there's some Cobra that, you know, ones would probably cover. So what we do is, um, uh, you know, if an experienced driver comes to us, uh, there's going to be an extra $1,000 on his first paycheck and an extra $500 on his second paycheck okay. uh, to, to help with that job transition pay. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so with that said, um, how do you guys, uh, how do you do to retain your drivers? I, I, I think home time and money takes care of that. We, we run about, <laughs> it's not that I'm, I, I, I'm, a, I'm proud of this, but we run about a 35% turnover rate here. Mm -hmm. Um, that's pretty good. If you look at the industry. And I got to be honest with you, most of those guys that we lose are to local jobs or retirement. Okay, okay. That's cool. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you. I do appreciate it. My last, uh, very last question is, how would you get us up there? And uh, and are we, well, this is COVID, so I'm I'm sure we're not sharing the rooms with nobody or nothing like that, right? How, how would you get us up there for uh, orientation? No, you're you're not, you're not sharing rooms, um, but um, there, we do that a few different ways. I mean, first of all, you're not necessarily coming to Iowa at the beginning. Kind of depends upon where you live. Okay, we can start a driver at any of our terminals, and once the drug test is back, mm -hmm. we'll put them in a truck, and then we'll load them to Iowa, where it's about a day and a half of orientation here. So. We use a variety of ways. Sometimes we'll use one of our drivers to pick someone up and bring them to the terminal or mm -hmm. to a terminal. Mm -hmm. um, if we have to, we'll fly them. Uh, we, we, we rent cars if we have to. Uh, just a variety of ways. We'll, we'll use the Greyhound if that's the last option. We'll use Amtrak if we have to. You know what I mean? So okay. however we can get it done. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, thank you very much. Um, if you... Uh, let me see. I asked you how to apply for the company, but if you have um, if you have a a link, an Intelli link or anything like that that you would like to either by way of text me or email me, I will definitely take that and I will share that uh, link uh, in the uh, in the group as well. I'll send that over to you on Messenger. All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for your time and thank you for your honesty and uh, and thank you for the time for the questionnaire. Thank you. You bet, Sean. Thank you. All right. Now take it easy. You too. See ya.